Even with record-setting prices, buyers still want to become homeowners in the East Bay. I'm David Stark and welcome to the East Bay Real Estate Weather Report. We already know that buyers got into the market early this year and now sellers, they're jumping in too. There were more homes on the market throughout the East Bay compared with the last four months and compared with this time last year. Now even with a modest increase in supply, prices continued to rise in the East Bay. Year to date, the median sales price topped 1.2 million. So what did home buyers do? They bought homes. Home sales in the East Bay were way up from February and slightly more than last March. Here's what's up locally, starting with the 880 corridor. Homes for sale. More choices for buyers in about half the 880 communities. Berkeley up more than 75% and in Hayward, 67 for sale up 20% from last March. Prices. Take Albany out of the mix and prices way up everywhere. Castro Valley, Hayward, Newark, all up at least 30%. Union City, 1.59 million, up almost 50%. Sales mixed. Berkeley, San Lorenzo, Union City, all down at least 20%. More homes sold in Alameda, Hayward, and Newark. Let's go to West Contra Costa County next. Homes for sale. More homes on the market almost everywhere. El Sobrante, more than double. Richmond, up 17%. And San Pablo, up more than 20%. Prices up everywhere. El Cerrito tops 1.3 million. Sales mixed. El Cerrito and El Sobrante both down. Richmond, 68 sold, up 15%. Now we're heading to central Contra Costa County. Homes for sale mixed. Concord, 57 on the market, way up from last March. Walnut Creek, 21 for sale, down 38% from last March. Prices up everywhere. Concord and Martinez, both more than 900,000. Sales mixed. Clayton and Martinez both up. Pleasant Hill and Walnut Creek both down. Let's check in with La Mirinda. Homes for sale, mixed. Lafayette and Moraga both way down. Arinda up more than 50%. Prices up. Lafayette and Moraga both solidly in the 2 million range. Sales, Lafayette and Moraga both up slightly. Arinda down almost 50%. The Tri-Valley is up next. Homes for sale, Fewer choices for buyers almost everywhere. Alamo down more than 50% and San Ramon, 17 on the market, down almost 30%. Livermore is the exception, 45 for sale, up 25%. Prices way up. Alamo, Danville, Pleasanton, San Ramon, all in the $2 million range. Sales mostly way down. Danville, 72 sold and Pleasanton, 53 sold, both down more than 30%. Dublin is the exception with 43 sold, up more than 30% from last March. And finally, we're in the Delta. Homes for sale. Some good news for buyers. More choices almost everywhere. Antioch, 70 for sale, and more homes on the market almost everywhere else. Prices, not so good news for buyers. Antioch, 715, up 25%. Brentwood, 920. Sales, buyers were willing to pay, and sales up almost everywhere. Antioch, 140 sold, up more than 35%. So what's on the radar? rising interest rates. Though with days on market coming down quickly and pending sales increasing, those rates may not be a factor yet. Peace to everyone. We'll see you next month.